Hey guys, welcome back. So I believe we're on lesson four. So let's see, let me just add some of these to my shelf. That one, that one, that one. Okay, so we'll just go into this view and we'll just bring this out. Increase the size. So roughly about there. Before I do that, we shall just increase the the height here to four. I'll just increase that up there. So I'm going to vertex mood and we just want to line these up not really focus on the breast tissue bring those in let's rotate this guy And rotate these guys. Okay, let's match these guys to the base of the neck. going to bring these guys up and just try to match uh, the contours Go to the front, and we just want to overshoot just a little bit because when we smooth this, we will be losing some. Okay, so our hips come down here, and we'll just increase these, bring these down just a bit. And these we just want below the armpits. So we have enough room to bring out the shoulder area and the arm. So just double check everything here. And we'll just bring these out again. Okay, so that looks uh, good for the time being. 
So we're going to use the edging tool just to add a, a few edges and we're just going to add more resolution to this shape. So we'll put one about there. And we'll just bring these about there, that's uh, around about this shoulder area and uh, we'll just try and smooth these as best we can I'm just going to make a slight adjustment to here and I'm just going to bring these out Add another edge uh, here. Now remember, every time you add a new geometry to the contours, if you just leave it, it will lose its shape. So be prepared to do some tweaking here and there. And I think. nice. I'm going to add one in the center and just going to grab the entire row and bring that out. I might actually bring that down a bit more. Add another one run back here, grab those points, deselect those and Okay, let's just uh, select these, the shoulder, and we're just going to scale in the X here. Uh, we'll just scale this out just a bit. We can actually build this shoulder, right? So you don't have to be concerned. Uh, where to place these at this particular point. So I'm just going to rescale these out. select those and bring those up try and follow the contours of the the body let's look at our uh, shape Let me turn on Okay, it's looking good. We might have to bring these edges in from the lateral. So easier done. Let's grab these. Actually, what I'm going to do, uh, let's go into these options and reflection. Turn on reflection, and this just we select this vert here, 
uh, moves this one on the other end. So I'll grab these guys and these guys and these guys. And we'll just double check. Okay. And we'll just increase these Okay, let's uh, undo that. It didn't actually work how I wanted it to work. So we'll try this way. I'm still uh, fresh from 3GS Max, so... <laughs> I've got a learning curve to grab those guys. Let's double check. And this one. Okay, now the uh, indicator is in the center so we can move these out just a bit. And we want to grab the ends and bring those in just a bit. Uh, much better. Let's add a smooth onto there. Oh, it's looking pretty good. I'm just going to take the top two ends here and just bring those out just a bit. Now we can see that we took a simple piece of geometry and we've made it into at the moment resembles a basic uh, little torso. So now I think uh, we'll just extrude the neck uh, the neck area. I mean you can click and select or you can just go to uh, face mode select your uh, paint selection tool and Make sure that's interface. Object mode. Paint selection tool. Hold down B and drag to reduce the area. And right click face. And we're just going to select those. Uh, that's another, uh, another way. I do notice a little bit of a dent there, so we'll just fix that in a second. So now what we're going to do, we're going to extrude. So you can either hold down shift or right click and extrude face. Click this little icon here. So we're going to world mode and we just want to bring that up. Like so. So if I undo that, we can use one of our tools up here, edit mesh and I'm going to hold down control and shift and extrude and we have the icon here so you can use the icon go up here and repeat, rinse and repeat so something like that 
I will be using the uh, the menu commands rather than the shelf but I will try and use uh, both utilities at the same time for you guys okay so I'm just going to I'm going to take that just a little bit now it looks like uh, we need to bring those in as well she's off anyway uh, don't worry about that for the time being I'm just going to bring these down Grab these and we'll just bring those down for the time being. Okay. I wanted to double check. Just uh, double checking. So grab the faces here and here and delete those. Grab her face. Okay, you're able to do it that time. And delete that one. Okay. So for the start, uh, it's not looking uh, too bad. Of course, as we carry on, we'll add more detail. I uh, just want to double check. Let's just bring up there. And let's bring these guys up. Just a bit. Okay. Okay, just a little. Okay, I'll do for now. So, uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next lesson where we shall continue where we left off. Bye for now.